God bless you all. Christ came to the world to save the world by showing us how to live, which is living by God's word and telling others the truth, which is the word of God, and dying on the cross for all of our sins, so we can all be forgiven. But after three days, he resurrected from the grave. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to verse 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. But listen to this. Amen. But listen to this. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8 to verse 9 says, But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. Praise God. It continues you saying, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Amen. It's through his mercy and his grace that we are saved. And his love for sending his son so that we can receive forgiveness for our sins. Brothers and sisters, and receive eternal life through Christ by confessing him as our Lord and Savior. Praise Jesus. To repent for our sins and change how we live and live by the word of God, putting our faith and trust in God, obeying him and his word and telling others about his word until Christ picks up his church. Amen. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. God bless each and one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.